Welcome back to the Scottabyte channel, and this is Scott. So I ran into something that I consider to be fairly important. I have been um, pretty enamored with the new or relatively new cloud gateway fiber that Ubiquiti has released because I really think it has a lot of bang for the buck. There's a lot of videos out there that are saying pretty much the same thing. My son-in-law put one of them in a couple of months ago. In this last week, I installed one for the son of a friend of mine. And in so doing, I ran into something very interesting that you all should be aware of. And I ended up calling that the Ubiquity Unify VPN Hell. So in Unify OS version 4.4.6 on my UDM Pro, my main LAN, which is VLAN 1, is treated like any other VLAN. And 4.4.6 is the current and latest version of Unify OS, at least on a UDM Pro as of December 2025. So zone-based firewall rules properly apply to allow or restrict access to that main LAN. And in addition to that, if you've not yet updated to the zone-based firewall, the same thing can be said of the legacy firewall as well. So inbound WireGuard VPN clients can also reach VLAN 1 host and the gateway address for the UDM Pro. And this is because the control plane is not in any way segregated from the data plane and the firewall controls all of your access. So when you tunnel into your network, the VPN works as expected. And provided that you provide access for those VPN clients, they can gain access to anything on your main network including that main LAN or VLAN 1. So come about Unify OS version 4.4.9, which is the latest on the cloud gateway fiber, you run into something kind of interesting. And as I said earlier this last week, I installed a new cloud gateway fiber. And so the Cloud Gateway Fiber is running Unify OS version 4.4.9, and that treats VLAN 1 as what we call control plane protected. And so what that means is it means that inbound VPN traffic trying to access your VLAN 1 is silently blocked, and this is not a zone-based firewall issue and it's also not a legacy firewall issue. And so only VLANs besides VLAN 1 are considered to be fully routable from a VPN. So this is the ubiquity design choice that they made to increase security, and really, I can't disagree with it. So why exactly did Ubiquity do this and why did they feel like they needed an increase in regards to security? Well, VLAN 1 carries your gateway interfaces, the controller traffic, and it also carries Unify OS control plane services. And so by hardening VLAN 1, VPN clients, which are by definition coming from the outside of your network, are prevented from reaching secure management interfaces. And so this protects the control plane from misconfigured or even malicious VPN traffic. And so this is the default and it cannot be changed by any zone-based firewall rule or any legacy-based firewall rule since it is enforced at the kernel level of Unify OS and not by anything that you do in your network controller. So what exactly can we do as end users? Well, if you happen to be a managed service provider or even a home lab user, or perhaps maybe someone who takes care of a console for 
a parent, a friend, or so on, you're gonna find that remote access is really critical in this case. And you really have two choices since when you VPN in, you're not going to be able to reach your main LAN once you get to Unify OS 4.4.9 as mentioned earlier. So you can leave all of your systems in VLAN 1 and then you can create another VLAN which I would call a DMZ VLAN and you can have a host on it that you can use as what I would define as a jump host that you can use for transitive access. So if your main purpose is to log in and then be able to do things like SSH into another host because you're gonna perform some kind of security uh, management on it, then that will work just fine. If you want your VPN to be able to say, access an RDB, RDP host, like maybe a Windows machine, that's where you're gonna have a little bit more of a problem. So you can also, as an alternative, create a new VLAN, which is not VLAN 1. Let's just go ahead and call it something like VLAN 2. And then you can move everything on your main network that you wanna have have access remotely into that VLAN 2. And by so doing, it won't be subject to those restrictions. So VLAN 1 is hard-coded to be protected at the kernel or control plane level of Unify OS, beginning in this 4.4.9 version. And even with zone-based firewall rules, VPN to VLAN 1 traffic is going to be dropped before it ever reaches those hosts, and for that matter, really dropped before it ever reaches the firewall. So in summary, for right now, the Cloud Gateway Fiber appears to be a special case, and I'm not seeing this on devices like the UDM Pro and on other devices that I'm remotely managing. It's just that the Cloud Gateway Fiber is the first device that I've seen this on, and after drilling down and looking at it, this is what I've discovered. However, as of now, December 2025, the UDM Pro Unify OS is still version 4.4.6, which is probably why I'm not seeing this on my home system when I VPN in. And so the Cloud Gateway Fiber is running Unify OS version 4.4.9, as I mentioned earlier, <clears throat> and that institutes the segregation of the control plane from the data plane, and that's the whole thing that creates this situation. So it's likely that Ubiquity regards control plane segregation to be security critical. And really, I can't argue with that, I think that really is a best case. Apparently, they eventually decided that having those critical systems available were increasing the attack surface, and so therefore they decided to make this change. So therefore, it's really likely, in my way of thinking, that all Unify OS consoles at some point in the future might well be receiving this update. And so you heard it here first. Anyway, thanks for listening and please subscribe and like to the channel and don't forget to hit your notification bell and we'll see you next time.